Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we are going to do some unboxing. This is one of the Sonic Exacto knives. It's pretty heavy. First time using this one. It's pretty nice. Solid in the hand, if I will. I'm gonna have a lot of garbage after this. First off, they finished securing it with. So my lift hasn't been used yet, so it's still clean. We got some microfibers there. This looks like the, I ordered it all at once. So I don't know if they kept them in the kits, but uh, this looks like uh, the wheel cleaning kit. I don't think these foams are anything. Maybe they are. They actually look, I don't know if they packaging foam or not, I have to look. So right here we got three mitts. We got a wheel brush. What is this brush? Detailing brush. Another hard bristle brush. Bead maker paint protection. <coughs> so it looks like they just mixed everything together, which is not ideal but it's fine because I need to sort it out anyway so I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning stuff here I will probably be throwing out all of my hey Matt Norman there huh typical uh, obsessness well I guess it's heavy but you got double ply wood uh, double ply corrugated here which is a strong, sturdy box. Thanks. No wonder none of this stuff arrived damaged. So that looks like a lot for one box. Uh, we got some okay, tire stuff here. Uh, let me open one more box and then I can start making sections of what things are. Yeah, they definitely have uh, their packaging sorted out same way there. More of these foam. I do think this is just packaging material, but might be good for uh, rims. Probably not. Some people might cringe if you use these on rims. Who knows? So back in the day when I got my first car, I was super obsessed about cleaning it to the point that every time I cleaned it, I would take my rims off. And I didn't have a car lift, I'd use the simple jack stand. Uh, so here's some car shampoo, wheel cleaner. So I haven't, I haven't done any of that kind of cleaning since I was about 18, 19. So, this will be a whole new thing for me to start cleaning my cars. I have four cars. I have a 2017 F-150, which is my daily driver. Then I have uh, a 2018 Audi R8 RWS, which is my fun car. Then I have a 2004 VW R32, actually I have five cars. Then I have a 1968 Beetle, which you'll see on the channel here in the winter. Then I have a 2018 Ford Expedition. I don't think I'll ever clean the Expedition, it's my wife's car. The truck is black, um, which always looks dirty. So it'd be nice to get a couple of these bead makers on the actual truck there 
so it stays clean and longer. And then I'll definitely do it a deep, deep clean on my R32 as I just bought that car and it needs some loving, tendering time from me. So th there are a lot of products here, which is great. Um, it's gonna take me a long time to figure out what everything is. Okay, so this small box here is the decontamination stuff. I didn't buy the whole D kit, I think this is, because $350, and I don't think I'm gonna decontaminize my cars that often and if I do then I'll buy the kit so what I did is I bought all the all the smaller size bottles within this kit instead of buying the whole kit all the other A, B and C I bought the whole package so I will put the link in the description below on how much all of this cost but upwards of a thousand bucks if not more so it's not cheap um, but if you're going all out, go all out, right? So unfortunately, today is trash day. And they just picked up all my trash. But now I'm going to have a ton more trash. So, I might make a run to a, a dumpster this weekend so I don't have to store all this trash. Now under the buckets. Looks like some assembly required. Not a problem. decontaminization kit had uh, whatever tubs this big I just stuck to the smaller ones so what I'm gonna do is work on arranging them sorting them out here and assembling my buckets so what I think I'm gonna do is use the space behind me to try arrange the kits so right now, just because I unboxed this last, I know this is the decontamination stuff. All right, I'm gonna keep all the sprayers together. So I know where they are. Mitts brushes. Fail. Fail. All right, so looks like this broke here but it should be fine it just sits in the bucket uh, not to worry about that this here is to join the, the wash and the rinse bucket together 
Please be careful of the sharp edges. Use non-locking casters. All right. So I think this is just a, a part that Matt Morgan sourced himself. I can't actually remember, but it's just so the two buckets stay next to each other. So you don't have to hold two buckets. All right, so the bucket's already labeled, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about making sure that stickers are straight. And here are my broken pieces. So this was just a rubber seal that came off of this black one. One thing I hate, oh perfect, no sticker residue, wonder. So right here the black bin will be for wheels. Uh, you don't ever really need to take these lids off once they're on. I'll show you why. They got screw off tops. So black is for wheels, that is an independent bucket by itself. On. So it's nice, this is, uh, looks like no tools needed here. Um, these are just push in wheels. Wonderful, wonderful. No tool assembly is great. So there's one lock. Um, I'll keep the one locking wheel by the one locking uh, bolt that you can put in to lock the bucket in position. And I'll keep that on all of them. Okay. So, this one's independent. keep the logo facing that one bolt because uh, that's where the, the wheel lock is just to keep everything even and straight so these locks do have a big allen it's a wing wing uh, bolt but they do have a big allen head in case you want to Mega tight them, I don't see why you would need to. And then there's, so there's three of these. One in the front that I'm pulling the front. And two on the back. Looks like I need to bust my sweatband out. All right, got my sweatband on, because that's my life.
All right. So I don't know how tight you want to do this. I don't know if you can do it tight enough to lift it. Uh, but there it is. Nice. All right. The red and the blue one are joined. Single hole is here. Oh, actually works out perfect. Single hole is here. This goes here. So while I'm doing this, um, I don't know if you can notice, I'm using a different camera here. Uh, it's a much higher quality camera but it's uh oh thanks for noticing <laughs> much higher quality camera but it's more complex to use and more annoying to use which means i don't know if i'll use it because if i spend more time filming and less time doing. It's never gonna be fun. Uh, more time tinkering with with cameras. I'm not trying to tinker with cameras. I'm trying to bring you along on my journey. Make a couple videos. Uh, learn from some of you. Teach some of you. While not being super stressed about filming <laughs> so anyways let me know if the camera looks good or not i think it, it should look good there's no reason it shouldn't look good but it seems complex Whew. <laughs> facing me this way. Wash, rinse, wash, rinse. I think that that way works. I guess I can always change it if I want them switched. But for now, they will work. So I've actually had these it must be a month or two more than that I just haven't had the garage close enough where I can uh, use these let me do this <laughs> so in case you're wondering these are 3 8 uh, Allen heads Too loud would probably be quicker. Yeah, much is quicker with your hand. Let's 
thing. So, it in. Uh, ideally they need to make the sticker smaller so you can actually see the whole thing through the, the lip here. Um, then it wouldn't touch that bolt. But hey, I got my three buckets now. I got wash, rinse, and wheels. Ah. That should make life easier with my new uh, creeper. So, now I'm gonna work on figuring out where all this cleaning stuff goes so it's accessible. Um, I have tons of old cleaning stuff. 